Beware the shack attack. Well, give me your best. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see your best. Is that all you got? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be learning more about the life and career of Shaquille O'Neal. Throwing it up to Shaq. Shaquille Rashawn O'Neal was born March 6, 1972, in Newark, New Jersey. O'Neal moved often in his youth, but always played basketball. Shaq set records at his Texas high school, and during his graduating year, his team was state champ. His rise to fame began after high school. In 1989, the 7'1 powerhouse enrolled at Louisiana State University in business. Over three years, Shaq broke records and received numerous accolades, including NCAA Men's Basketball Player of the Year for 1991. His success was so great that O'Neal left school in 1992 to enter the NBA draft. The Orlando Magic had first pick, and with it they chose O'Neal. After being mentored by legend Magic Johnson, Shaq was named Rookie of the Year for his spectacular first season. Things only got better. After the Magic underwent a coaching change, O'Neal excelled even more during season number two. He averaged over 29 points per game, managed his first triple-double, and showed off his specialty by leading the league in field goal percentage. He and new teammate Penny Hardaway led the Magic to their first playoff showing ever, but were swept by the Indiana Pacers. After topping the NBA in scoring during 94-95, O'Neal and the Magic made it to the finals against defending champs the Houston Rockets. Orlando lost in four games, and Shaq remained without a title. That saga continued into the next season, when the Magic were swept in the Eastern Conference Finals by Michael Jordan and his Chicago Bulls. Shaq then became a free agent amid controversy about his relationship with members of the Magic organization. O'Neal finally signed a massive seven-year, $121 million contract with the LA Lakers on July 8, 1996. Shaq then helped the U.S. bring home the gold at the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. Despite O'Neal's talent and the addition of Kobe Bryant, the Lakers did not meet expectations for the first years of the Shaq era. Before you succeed, you must learn how to fail, and I just hope that I don't have to you know, fail too many more times. Things changed when they recruited coach Phil Jackson in 1999. That year, the Lakers won the first of three consecutive championships, and Shaq dominated as finals MVP every time. Like Kobe said, the trophy is home and where it belongs, and we're going to get another one next year. Can you pick it? Because of Shaq's dominance during this period, several teams implemented a new defensive strategy labeled hack a -shack. Opposing players repeatedly fouled the big man to send him to the free throw line due to his notorious struggles in that area. 2000 was his strongest season. O'Neal was named league MVP almost unanimously and signed a three-year, $88.5 million contract extension to stay with LA. However, by 2002, enduring injuries caught up with him. Shaq missed the season's first 12 games following toe surgery. The following season, the Lakers made it back to the finals, but they were beaten that year by the Detroit Pistons. After more disputes with his bosses and teammates like Kobe Bryant, O'Neal was traded to the Miami Heat on July 14, 2004. The people that know me, they know what time it is and they know what the diesel is coming to do. Period. P-U-R-E-U-D, period. That team ended the season with a Game 7 Eastern Conference Finals loss to the Pistons. Shaq then took a pay cut with a five-year, $100 million contract extension. He was injured again the next season and posted career-low stats in many categories. However, he did lead the league in field goal percentage and posted his second-ever triple-double in April 2006. The Heat won their first-ever NBA championship that June. Despite another injury-riddled season for Shaq, Miami managed a playoff berth the following year, but was swept in the first round by Chicago. After one year with the Phoenix Suns, Shaq was traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2009, where he played a diminished role beside star LeBron James. As the oldest active NBA player, Shaq played his final season with the Boston Celtics and officially announced his retirement June 3, 2011. I'm going to miss a lot about the game. I'm going to miss the competition, the camaraderie, the friendship, the fans, joking with the media, and I'm really going to miss the free throws. <laughs> Off the court, Shaq was a successful spokesman throughout his career. Shaq tested 29 points. Um, how did you get so many cues? Don't worry about it. He even started rapping in the early 1990s and has often appeared in movies and on TV. I am Kazam! Well, I'm really happy for you. 
Where do you think you're going? Shaq's physical dominance and countless records made him a basketball tour de force. But it was his flowery personality and penchant for sound bites that made him a star. My favorite move is my spin move, which is called the Black Tornado. O'Neal into the lane. Slammer! Oh! 